Language Matters! Let's talk about loans. Hi, my name is Danielle Scott with Keller Williams Realty. I'm here today with uh, Jimmy Joseph of First Lenders. Of course, you know, dealing with first time home buyers, even people who've been in the buying process before, everyone wants to know what do they need to know about loans. Uh, one question I get a lot is what's the difference between FHA and conventional, um, also VA loans. So if you could just talk a little bit about that. Those are three different types of loans. One, VA loans for active slash retired veterans. That's a loan that's used for them through that program. Uh, it's administered by the government. Then you have FHA, which is another, another loan program administered by the government where it gives you flexibility in terms of your down payment, below average credit scores, and higher debt to income ratios to purchase the home. It gives you flexibility in your debt to income ratio as far as buying power. And conventional, that's what we call a traditional lending, where you, you're allowed to put 3% to 20% down payment, and that has private mortgage insurance, PMI. So how about first-time home buyers and the pre-approval process? What tips could you give for them? For first-time home buyers, it's important to use a free tool, which is Credit Karma. I think it's, a, it's absolutely great because it gives you an idea of where you're at with your risk. However, when I'm, in, when I'm giving out a pre-approval, I collect four factors, cash, income, property, and risk, which is your credit score. Do you have any thoughts on uh, closing costs? People are usually are very <laughs> concerned with that. Yeah, they should be because usually sometimes they don't understand what comes into the closing costs. What's in the closing costs is settlement fees, your escrow, and origination costs. It's important that you look at that and have your lender talk to you and talk through line by line of what's going on, what's costing you the loan. Because in the end, this is what your loan is going to be for the future as you make your monthly payments. So, Jimmy, what do you think about new construction homes? I, I get that question a lot, um, people looking for new construction. What should people be concerned about? Um, they should very. They should be concerned about two things: the taxes and making sure your lender knows what's going to happen as your escrow changes. With new construction, sometimes the lender does not have access to what's going on with the taxes. So it's important that you communicate with your tax assessor to understand when the property is going to be reassessed, so that when that amount is adjusted, that your lender knows. So moving forward, you can make your monthly payments. What happens in some cases, lenders do not communicate with the tax assessors and your escrow is short and sometimes folk, sometimes clients have a concern like, oh my, I didn't know what happened, what's going on. Nevertheless, it's important that the lender and yourself and the tax assessor get involved to make sure you're taxed accordingly and correctly for the new property. Thank you so much. Are there any final thoughts you want to give um, to people who are you know, just starting the process? Yes, make sure when you're working, when you're looking for a home or trying to figure out what you want, how you want to go about it, please speak to a realtor. They have experience, they know what they're doing, and they will make sure that they coordinate your needs as to the fullest. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Again, I'm Danielle Scott with Keller Williams Realty. I'm here with Jimmy Joseph from uh, First Lenders. Thank you. Bye. Bye.